You may recall Adam Sandler's famous song Lunch Lady Land. It was one of the great SNL skits with the late great Chris Farley. Well, you could say that's what one local school cafeteria transformed into today with Northeast North Carolina school lunch workers coming together to lift each other up. News 3 anchor Anthony Sabella takes us there. Here inside the cafeteria at Pascatank County High School, the people look a little bit different than they normally do at the tables. That's because they're the lunch ladies and gentlemen, 160 of them who have jumped to the other side of the line. And yeah, you just heard a lot of laughter from this group. No surprise there, but they are also getting down to business today, talking about the best ways to make sure kids are staying fed. Swapping the salt and pepper for the salt and pepa. This is what happens when you pack 160 school cafeteria workers into one room. Believe it or not, this is an official meeting for the School Nutrition Association's Northeastern North Carolina region. The largest meeting of its kind until the whole state gathers next year, I'm told, and it's Elizabeth City Pasquotank Public Schools second time hosting. More than 13 area school districts represented here. Honestly, this is when we uplift, build up. Because as much energy as there is here, like every household, every business, times are tough in the school cafeteria. ECPPS Nutrition Director Tammy Reinhardt says supply chain issues mean her orders are not always filled. If we can get the food, uh, many of our prices that just inflation, there's nothing that's not increased at least 25 to 30 percent. Many of our items are 120 some percent increase. So she gets creative to make it work, she says, as do many others at this meeting, where they learn about what's behind some of these ongoing issues, but also efforts to help, whether it be grants or legislation moving through Raleigh. It's especially crucial here in Pascatank County, where a federal program for lower income areas gives all students the option to eat free. Shay McPherson says for some who come through her line at Northside Elementary, it's the only guaranteed meal of the day. They may come back and say, can I have extra fruit today or extra veggies? And those are the ones, you know, you try to give them a little more love because you never know they might not eat another meal until the next day. A job just as serious for this group as it is fun. In Pascatine County, Anthony Sabella, News 3.